Welcome to Bethesda Game Studios. I'm Todd Howard. I'm going to give you guys a tour of our uh, new studio here in Rockville, Maryland. This is our lounge. Watch TV, play games, drinks, coffee over here. We also have a whole bunch of the uh, games, obviously, we've done over the years at Bethesda Game Studios all the way back to uh, Gridiron way down here, uh, which was 86, the Gretzky series, all the Terminator games, of course, the Elder Scrolls kind of dominates uh, uh, this, and then Fallout 3, uh, the latest stuff. This is kind of fun for the whole team, even newer people to come in and see these, these old boxes as far as the this, this stuff we did, you know, 20 plus years ago. This is cool. This is a, a prop this guy made. He was on the internet and he, uh, he made one and posted it and we contacted him and said, you, you got to make one of those for us. So this is the uh, laser rifle from Fallout 3 and it's, he, it's absolutely perfect. So we're headed to our programming area. We're, we're separated up here by departments. We're, we're one big team of about 100 people and you know everybody's really focused on one big game at a time. Did you talk to a programmer today? So this is an old uh, compact Rosario that we use to still play our old games like uh, Arena here. So once in a while you'll find somebody sitting here playing through Arena. So we're still in the uh, tech area. This is one of the places where we'll do a lot of our design, with, you know, literally stand around here and, and, and figure out a problem. Um, we like to stand and do it. it, keeps the meeting short, keeps us productive. It's very visual for the whole group who's implementing features to see. They'll write questions on the board and someone like me will come by and answer them or somebody else. And uh, we can, you know, prototype a feature, get it in the game really fast, change it up on the whiteboard, because ultimately the documentation doesn't matter, it's, it's uh, what's in the game that matters. This is a bunch of our level designers uh, putting together areas for the game. And you'll see them uh, working in our tool, the uh, creation kit. It's a good uh, working space in that everybody has their, their own private space they can use, and lots of it, but it's also um, very, very open. We've been in this building for 20 years. We used to be uh, in the basement, which you'll see later, that's where the dev team was, and now we're all, we've grown big enough that now we've taken over the whole second floor. Really, really cool space to make games in. So now we're in the uh, world art area, and this is something cool we have, which is a big dry erase uh, sticker of the game map, and we use this to track uh, where various locations are, where we are in production with it. We'll assign areas to people, and uh, really, really big game world, and this is a cool visual way for us to, to keep track of it. You can see some of the latest concept art up here. This is how specific we are. We have to detail even the meat of all of the animals for when you loot them. So here we have uh, Mark Lampert, our audio director genius in our sound studio. We have our own recording booth. We do it all here. So this is our screening room. This is where we'll have uh, department meetings and really, really cool place to take a look at the game. We'll look at new games that come out and kind of break them down, see what people like about them, uh, have a group discussion on, on what works in the other games that are out there. We're gonna head into the uh, concept art pit. Nice big space where we can have lots of meetings and discuss uh, what the game's going to look like and how it's going to feel and see what crazy ideas uh, Ray has come up with this week. <laughs> <laughs> so over here we have uh, Matt Kilman, our video producer extraordinaire. People kept bothering him so I had to make this sign. And uh, he does all our uh, trailer work, all the videos, the actual video stuff that's really uh, edited nice in the game. We're now down in the basement of the building uh, where we used to be. We now have a big uh, fitness center down here which is uh, it's pretty amazing for a company our size. And some of the guys do uh, karate and kickboxing uh, at lunch uh, to train. Actually, I refer to it as the interview process, so I always like to imagine one of these guys is applying for a job and fighting is, is part of it. You must win your position. The one guy who's really, really good, he's our lead combat animator. And he fights for real. He good fights and bouts people go and watch. I watch my arguments with him. So these were used for some marketing things for Fallout 3, and I believe our marketing group got them from this Hollywood prop studio, and they said, well, they've been used before, and then I was watching um, Inia Jones and the uh, Crystal Skull, which I don't plan on watching again, but this is in the movie where they blow the town up. 
I was watching the movie and I said, that's our Fallout lady. So now I have an Indiana Jones uh, actual prop. This is our big theater. This is where we'll have team meetings. So this theater seats the entire team, about 150 people. I bought that Gauntlet 2 machine, I think back in 95, <laughs> and it's still there. So for about uh, 15 years at Bethesda, we've had our own chef. It's probably like the coolest part of our company, and it's grown. So this is our kitchen. We have our own chef. He cooks us lunch every day. He'll cook us dinners or breakfast during crunch time. Say hi to Kenny McDonald. He's the most popular guy in Bethesda history, right there. He feeds us and keeps us happy. So that's our tour of Bethesda Game Studios. Uh, hope you all uh, liked the uh, quick look at how we spend our day. Thanks. <laughs>